It's 9.01 on a Sunday morning. We've been up, well, I've been up pretty early. We just got done doing a tour of Alphaland. I say we, the gym staff, this was supposed to be our team bonding. Cue the B-roll clips I have walking around. Like I said, we finished that up and me and Austin have to be at the gym in like 45 minutes. So we're just gonna hit a uh, quick session real fast. I'm gonna try to record a little bit, yo, but if I don't show anything, don't get mad at me, okay? I'm trying. I've been working myself, so I'm just gonna try to get a little pump right now. Just want to get on here and let you guys know I'm alive. Ha! It's been like a week since I've uploaded. Shout out to the homies here at Legend London. I've been riding with Legend London for like years now. I always appreciate every time I post a Q&A, everyone always asks. I'm not even kidding. I'm not capping. People ask me, yo, what jeans? What are your favorite jeans? Where do you buy your jeans? All my jeans, and I give them credits every single time, are Legend London. I'm loyal to them, but not only that, because their shit is actually dope. Their design, their logos, the comfort, their stretching. And show my love to Legend London. You guys over there fucking killing it, and I appreciate you guys always taking care of the kid. Yo, guys, look at the sky right now. Yo, this is like, I feel like I'm watching TikTok right now. Come closer, I'll give you all my love. But except for like in real life and shit. Yo, I don't know if you can see because the trees are on the way, but yo. Do I look like I'm in a TikTok? Yo, this shit kind of lit. Yeah. But yeah, I just want to get up on here and show you guys how beautiful life can be sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, if you sit here and just have a positive attitude and work hard, you can enjoy this shit. <laughs> no, I just can't f that sh Go get your bag and go get what's yours and don't let anyone tell you any different. I'm gonna go ahead and answer a few assumptions or just at least read a few of these. At least once a week on my Instagram, I post like, uh, ask me anything and then on my downtime, I answer these questions. But for the most part, it gives me a chance to interact with everyone who follows me. Hopping on that bandwagon of every influencer who does this. Like, it's funny to me, so I enjoy doing this. So, so you're missing out if you don't follow me on Instagram, but we're gonna go ahead and just run through a few of these. That you are conceited and stuck up. Watching your videos, you're hella cool. Honestly, this is like the most frequently assumption i get i i had someone come up to me in the gym and they're like yo like i just want to let you know like i used to think you were like a f boy basically after getting to know you and watch your videos you're actually dope as f all i can say is don't judge a book by its cover you used to be a player hmm. interesting that was like i got that like five or six times surprisingly you got your first tattoo before i was 18. uh no i was actually already 18 and my first tattoo i'm about to flash you guys right fast right here is this bible verse right there it's actually psalm 23 though i wait may walk through the valley of shadow of death i fear no evil for you are with me i remember this shop was sus af like i basically got tattooed by a bunch of skinheads you're single are you single new girl yo literally this is like the number one asked question i get are you single I'm not gonna address anymore i feel like you guys am i not can you guys not tell something's up but yes i am assuming you wouldn't let me love you you have a huge wiener you don't give a what people think i think at the, to a certain extent everyone does care about what people have to say or think about them honestly i really don't give a f the way i dress my tight pants my oversized tees all the tattoos i f you can i feel like you can just tell i don't give a f also too i was just having a conversation with one of my homies about this is like the day you're able to let let the little sh go and what people's opinions and thoughts and what they say about you you'll live a much happier lifestyle that's their life let them choose it for me i'm just keep doing me regardless of what people have to say you used to like fighting honestly yes growing up i was a very hothead i was very temperamental even in my early 20s uh was i was like spiraling out of control uh, as i've gotten older of course i learned to pick and choose my fight like, i'm a really cool dude but when push comes to shove all millie rockers there's always a lot on your mind percent especially lately like everything i've been rebranding and doing new logos and designs for capital I haven't been sleeping forever i'll sleep when i'm dead so my camera really hoed me and cut off cut me off like that because apparently i was talking too long but just to wrap it up uh someone asked that i can play with their feelings any time of the day uh, thought you were gonna be a douche, but then I met you in person and bro, you were humble as fuck. Yo, this is what I'm saying, like dead ass. Like, I promise I'm fucking cool. Don't judge a book by its cup that I'm gonna build my own gym now. That you miss the Gymshark days. I definitely do miss the Gymshark days, and I regret not continuing to stay with them.
low key. Put on a front for the gram. No, I don't. I mean, I feel like a certain extent, like obviously Instagram is like a highlight reel of your life. I feel like what you see in this vlog is like what you don't get on Instagram, hence why I do it. So you guys being a part of this journey and watching my videos, you get to see a side of me that you don't get to. But yeah, I talk about my sobriety, my family, my friends, life, work, everything. So I don't really feel like careful who you pretend to be because you might forget who you are. It is now two days after the hurricane was supposed to hit and it has yet to hit, has yet to rain. We even closed down the gym early, but obviously to take precaution because safety is more important or whatever. It didn't, we didn't get a single drop of rain here in Houston, but that doesn't change the fact other parts of Texas were hit and Louisiana. So my prayers go out to all those families and people who were affected by that hurricane. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I'm going to leave you guys with a bit of a cliffhanger just because I, someone asked me this today and I know I've talked about it. So I feel like I'm not just going to keep brushing it under the rug. Obviously I don't want to rush this talking about this so i'm gonna have to make a video in the future when it's actually time to but tim you talked about leaving out fleet gym is that still gonna happen is that still a thing why are you still there i thought you were leaving uh, someone actually came in and approached me he's like hey man i thought you were leaving i saw your youtube video to answer your question yes i am leaving out fleet i'm closing that chapter in my life and obviously like i have a lot more to talk about but like it's actually happening my last day at out fleet is going to be october